the theory of multiple intelligences. For many years, IQ has been used to rate intelligence. Shakira has an IQ of 140, which almost makes her a genius. Bill Gates' IQ is said to be between 160 and 170, easily a genius. Most of us, though, have an IQ of between 85 and 115. According to this system, intelligence is easy to quantify. Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences suggests that calculating intelligence is a lot more complicated. The theory proposes that there is not just one intelligence, but eight or more intelligences that we all have to a greater or lesser extent. These intelligences are located in different parts of the brain, but sometimes work together. They consist of spatial, bodily kinesthetic, musical, linguistic, logical mathematical, interpersonal, intrapersonal, and naturalistic. Each intelligence is a skill which people are good at. For example, a dancer may not have a high IQ, but according to Gardner, that does not mean she is not intelligent. She has bodily kinesthetic intelligence. She has the ability to move her body on a stage where the movements she makes create a performance. We have all of the various intelligences to some extent. It's just that we usually excel at just one. Gardner's theory has far-reaching implications for how we rate intelligence, as well as how and what we learn. Educators must activate each intelligence to reach everyone in the classroom. That means employing a variety of different teaching techniques from which all the students can learn. For example, linguistic intelligences prefer hearing, saying, or seeing words, whereas musical intelligences respond to music. In this case, a combination of memorizing song lyrics might work well for both groups. Everyone is intelligent in their own way. So what type of smart are you?